Hello! This week we're going to start off with what we ended with last week, which is the recorder reggae. But because we haven't played yet today, we're just going to do this top line four times. All right, I'll play the same thing with you. Here we go. Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> G. All right, good. I hope you stayed on that top line all four times. Now we're going to do this. I'm calling it the bottom line, even though it's actually higher than the top. I should have put them in opposite order, but that's okay. So it's just D and C. This way you get to practice D and C by themselves over and over. Remember, D is just the one finger on the recorder. Then you put your thumb down for C. Again, I have the cheating version with the notes written in for you. All right, let's try this just the bottom line four times. Here we go. Here we go. That should be pretty easy because we've done it before. It's just a quick way to warm up and get playing right away. Last week we added the note E and played the song Starlight. Now this is, I kind of blew it up big so you could really see it. It comes from this book, The Recorder, which in a normal year, the fifth grade would be upstairs in room 215. Using these books, this is not a normal year, so it's all online now instead. But the music is the same. so. I just wanted to show you what the fingering chart looks like that's in your recorder book. Now, up here, this is your left hand. Your right hand is everything below the line. So you can see your left hand is playing the notes for G, right? You see, if you look at your recorder, you can kind of see it makes kind of an L shape, right? Between your thumb and the rest of your hand. That's what these black dots are. Now below the line, we're adding two more fingers. So it's your index finger and middle finger in the right hand, and that's how we have the note E. As you can see, there's two more sets of holes that eventually we'll cover, but for now, you're just leaving them open. So that's the fingering chart for E. Now, it's different from the fingering chart. This is confusing to me. I mean, it might make sense to somebody, but this is the opposite. It's showing you the recorder from the point of view of, if you were looking down on it, so actually, so to read this chart, you have to have to point the recorder in the air. To me, that doesn't make as much sense as this, but the basic result is the same for E. It's just this, right? So let's try Starlight again. It's just G and E, right? Should be pretty easy. You just have to lift up those two fingers in your right hand. So G E. Now. Remember, there's an intro of two bars, which sounds like this. You're going to wait this long, and you hear, bum, bum, one, two, three, four. Then you play Starlight two times, just like last week. All right, good luck.
since you spent so much time just now playing G and E over and over, I thought you're probably hungry for another note. So I'm going to show you, these are all the notes you've learned so far, from here on up to here. Look, right next to E is low D. Now since we're going one lower on the recorder, you put one more finger down. So you have everything except for your pinkies, right, on the recorder. And make sure you really have to press to cover both of those holes with your ring finger in the right hand. It's a little tricky, but it's low D. Again, it doesn't require much air at all. If you blow too hard, it's going to sound terrible. So just very steady air. Um, all right, so now I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on low D, but I just want to show you that because now you see all the notes before you. We've done them all. So now we're just going to do a, what I call our technical review, where we're going to work our way through each note. So I'll, I'll play it first, and then you play after me. We're starting with E, working our, our way up to high D. All right, here's E. I'll do a rhythm first. Now we go to G. Good. Then A. Good. Now, I didn't go over the fingering. Let's just make sure you know what you're doing. E, you should know because we've done it many times already today, right? You've got everything except your ring finger and pinky in the right hand on the recorder. So here's E. Right? G, you should know by now, but just in case you didn't, thumb, index, middle ring finger of your right hand, or left hand, left hand. My right hand's not doing anything right now. So here's G. Right, I pick up one more finger. Here's A. And B, you're just holding with thumb and index. C, don't forget, you have to do the little switch of this. You have sort of a diagonal thumb and middle finger. Here's C. And high D, only your middle finger. Of course, you have to hold it with your other hand. Here's D. All right, now we're going to do back and forth. So it's low, high, low, high, low. Right, three of the low, two of the high. All right, let's try it all together. Ready? One, two, here we go. Good, now we're doing G, A. A. And then CD. Good, now we're coming down, right? Three of the high note and two of the, so it's basically high, low, high, low, high, but not that fast. All right, ready? One, two, here we go. probably beat me to it. I wasn't ready. Um, let me try again. We're going to go together. G, E, G, E. Ready? One, two, here we go. Ooh, let's try E, D, E, D, E. Right? So you're just adding one finger. Ready? One, two, here we go. Good. So now you know how to play two triads. Now a triad, in case you don't remember, is three notes, right? That are, it's kind of like a building block for music. Now an important one is if you have do, if do is G, it's like 
do, mi, so, right? Or one, three, five from the scale, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, three, five is a triad. So if we had all of you together, we'd have a third of you playing the G, a third of you on the B, and a third of you on the D, we'd have some harmony, right? So let's just try, this, try playing this triad. Try the triad. Super slow. We're going to go, it's G, then we have to skip to B, and then high D, just the middle finger. Ready? Let's just try G. Here's G. Right? Some of you would hold that note. Some of you would go on to this B, right? Now, I can't play them together because I have just one of me, one recorder. Um, and then you'd have high D. If they sounded together, it sounds like this on the piano. Right? It sounds really good. So, all right. So that's the major triad. There's also a minor one. Ooh. Because you know E. There's E, G, and B. It sounds like this. It's... And actually, those are the first three notes of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, right? Anyway, eventually we'll learn that. You need to learn a few more notes first, but just to give you a sneak preview, E is a very important note for O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. All right. Since we've got G and E pretty fresh in our mind, let's try the song that comes right after Starlight. Lucy Lockett, not too much harder. All right. So besides just G and E, you've also got A, right? So this starts on the G, right? As in every good bird does fly, right? Now you just go up one note to A. Now this tune is pretty easy because it's two of everything in a row, right? So it's G, G, A, A, G, G, E, E, G, G, A, A, G, E. And if you look at the bottom line, if you look at the notes, not the words, but the notes are exactly the same, right? So basically, once you learn this, you've got the whole song, you just do it four times. So I'm going to let you do that with the recording and the backing track and everything. Just watch out, there's a two bar intro coming up. So again, you just have to wait this long, right? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Then you play. I think you'll be fine. Good. Here you go. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Three notes, right? A, G, and E spells a word. Age, right? Let's get back to three more notes that spell a word. B, A, and G, they spell bag. We're going to use that for hot cross buns, which by now should be pretty familiar. So just to review, you've got the traditional hot cross buns, then variation one, you're changing your fingers at the same time, but your tongue is doing something a little different. You're going instead of Right? It's so if you covered up your ears, my fingers do exactly the same thing. It's just my tongue that's changing. That's what you do to come up with your own variation too. It could be anything you want with your tongue as long as your fingers are going bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm going to do that. My tongue is doing something different. I got kind of fancy, right? Or I could go... Whatever it is, it doesn't matter as long as you're in time 
with the backing track. So good luck. Here's Hot Cross Buns. Don't forget, oh yes, two bar intro. You'll probably remember that. So, all right, good luck. I thought it was time for a song. So, a lot of you have heard that song before, right? It comes from our All God's People Sing book, which we've used in chapel many times over the years. This year's different, of course. So, I thought I'd bring some chapel songs to the recorder. So, I'm going to play that once again, just in case you haven't heard it before. It's pretty easy to pick up on. It goes like this. One, two, three. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. All right, so you're going to learn the part that goes like this. I'm just going to teach it to you without talking about the little black dots and the all God, the all God's people, all the every good bird does fly and all that. We're just going to learn it by ear is what it's called. All right, so here we are. It goes like this. You're going to learn the first part. Let me call it out. It goes like That's all you need for now. So it's B, 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 A, G. That's it, right? Let's try that. I'm going to count you in. Just do that much. Ready? A one, two, three. Good. So you do that when I point at you, and I'll do the rest of it. All right, ready? A one, two, three. This part, standing in the need of prayer, here you go. Standing in the need of prayer. Hopefully that made sense. I'll try to play it. It's hard to play and point and all that. All right, let's try that again. Ready? A one, two, three. Standing in the need of prayer, here you go. Good, so that's pretty easy. You just do the same thing twice, and then the standing in the need of prayer is the answer to that. Now we're going to do standing in the need of prayer. Now, there, the standing is different the first time and the second time. I know this sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. I'm sure you'll catch on. The first standing in the need of prayer goes up. Think of standing, right? You're going... Right? G, 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 A, A, B... It's like you're standing up that first time, right? Let's try that. Ready? One, two, here we go. Right? So now you're going to do the standing part. I'm going to start with it. It's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Here you go. Good. You're standing up from G to A to B. Good. The second one goes like this. Because we want to end on do, most songs end on do. It goes, our do is G, so it's like do 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 mi re do, or G G G G B A G. Right, sounds like this. Right, that's the second stand-in. Right, the first stand-in goes up. It's like you're standing. Right. 
The second stand-in is like this. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll point at you when it's time to do the stand-ins. So I'm starting with It's Me. Ready? Here I go. One, two, three. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. You play. Good, I go. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. You go. Let's try that one more time. It's kind of fun, right? All right, ready? A one, two, three. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. You play. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. You play. Yeah. Now, if we had the whole class together, we'd divide and conquer. Half would do one, half would do the other. But this time, we're going to try playing the whole thing all together. Remember, we only need B, A, and G, so it's pretty easy. You remember the first part? It's me, right? Then you stay on G for the stand-in, right? Then there you are, ready for It's Me again, right? The second stand-in starts on G again, right? So it's kind of cool that it's like they, they, they go right into each other the way they're set up. It's pretty easy. So, all right, let's try it a few times, the whole thing. Ready? A one, two, three. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. This time, I'm going to play it with you, so you can look at my fingers and make sure that we're really all doing what we're supposed to be doing. So, all right, ready? I'll go a little slower. A one, two, three. Good. That should be pretty easy. It's a one-hander. No problem. Let's do that one more time. This time, you just come in when you're supposed to because I can't play and sing and all that at the same time. So ready? Get ready with a B. A one, two, three. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Good. See? A good musician can learn things, what's called by ear. A good musician can also read. Some people only read and they say, I can't make up anything. I only play what's in front of me. Others say, Oh, I can't read at all. I can just make it up, but that's it. A well-trained musician can do both things. All right. Now it's your chance to just make up something and have fun. So I'm just going to play, remember our triad? It's G, B, D. Those are the main notes that I'm playing. But you can play any note that we've learned so far. You can play E, even low D. Whoops, G, A, B, and then C. But because I'm playing a G chord, those are the main notes that are going to sound good. You don't want to sit on C, for instance, when I'm playing this. No, that you have to pass through it from C to B, like, or up to D. So anyway, so G, B, and D are the main notes. So your chance is to just make up whatever you want. Here you go. Ready? Have it. So I like to mix things up, do a little bit of improv, a little bit of reading the notes, a little bit of playing by ear. Just for fun, let's try standing in need of prayer one last time. So remember you're starting with It's Me. All right. Ready? A one, two, three. I think that's a good place to end. 
Um, so we're pretty much done. Again, you can always go back and rewind and do anything. If you want to do that jazz jam again, the only note you really need is G, actually, because that's like do. So let me just show you what that's like. If you only played G, let me switch hands here, but it would be like this. Right? I could make up something with just one note. So anyway, I will see you all next week.